Hello, humans of the interweb. Long time no see. I kind of feel like I say that every time, but this time I actually have a very valid excuse. I got a job. Um, yeah. And I've been kind of working most days than not. And in my free time, another thing that's happened with my life is I got an electric guitar. So a lot of my creative energy that usually goes to making videos has been spent, you know, playing the guitar. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's going on in my life right now. But my friends and I have kind of really been feeling quarantine lately and the effects of it. So we decided to have a Zoom Halloween in July, and I thought this was too good not to film. So yeah, th that's what we're doing. We are having a Zoom Halloween in July, so we can feel something. I'm just about to go and get some Dunkin' Donuts because, well, I haven't had it in a while, and we're going to be listening to Room on Fire by The Strokes on the way there. Kind of in a bit of a little Strokes phase. Um, more on that later. So I just got back. I drank most of it in the car because I was going through caffeine withdrawals as usual. Um, and I just have a few more things to do to my costume. So yeah, let's go do it. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you hear me? I can hear a little bit of the music now. Okay, it's, it's supposed to be spooky vibe. I need everybody to explain their costumes and their setup in character if you can, if you are someone. I'll go first, just okay. to like, you know, hype Elizabeth up, you know, later on. <laughs> um. I don't have a setup. My setup is my awesome curtain drapes that look like fan of the opera. <laughs> Some background. Um, this is a turtleneck. I'm a mime. I'm technically not supposed to be talking. <laughs> I am a dragonfly. I don't know if you've seen those like TikToks where it's like going to the ladybug colony or going to the bee colony. I'm like going to the dragonfly colony. Okay, nice. Um, I have like wings on my back, but they're kind of hard to see and some of them fell off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is my setup. I've got a purple light over here and an orange light over here. I've got a skeleton, some gravestones, and some other spooky decorations. You know how it is. Um, and then I'm wearing a very shimmery dress and my shoes are like sparkly, so there you go. That's very nice. Oh, I like the ambient vibes, like all the colors, they're going well together. I am Julian Casablanca. Surprise, surprise. Um, so first things first, I have this jean jacket. I cut the sleeves off. Get up. 
Got some pins. We're doing our thing. Boyd's pin. Lightning bolt on the thing. Underneath, See? we got plaid, classic rock muse shirt. Elizabeth, I think you have this one. Weird jewelry, a cuff bracelet thing. Sunglasses, which I ran out of contacts, so I'm wearing glasses underneath. <laughs> but we're not gonna talk about that. Um, Leather-ish shorts, a studded belt. Um, and then over here, oh, I have a custom bomber jacket that I made last night. Okay. Right. It's just a regular bomber jacket, but I put this on the collar, put this on the sleeves, and then um, here the tape is falling off, but this is Virtue. This says, the other one says Tyranny because they have two albums, his side band, and one of them is Tyranny, the other one's Virtue, and they're connected because Tyranny is the problem, Virtue is the solution, if you know, you know. And then he has a lyric that says eyes, or jackets are the eyes to the soul. So I put a pair of eyes on the back of my jacket. It makes me feel really cool. Yeah. And then my setup. Um, it's like a post-apocalyptic goth rocker human. So I got my skeleton with a leather jacket, my docks down here, my Fender amp, some like, I don't even know, antlers. Let's see. My mom had an Edward Cullen cut out. Okay. So I put a tear on him and some eyeliner on him. Oh my God, we're matching. <laughs> and we have this desk right here. We have the classic disintegration from The Cure, some books, a crow, and some candles that I don't want to light because I don't want to catch my house on fire. Not today. So yes. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. I don't even know what to say. I can't believe we're doing this. I'm actually like living. I my my whole family thinks I'm insane, but I've actually popped off. Like this is peak Elizabeth. I've got purple and blue eyeshadow on. Like I'm just thriving. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing you can't see it. I'm wearing red eyeshadow and black eyeliner, but yeah. I'm wearing... Um, it's not safe on the skin. But... <laughs> I was gonna do his tattoos, but it's fine, I guess. Well, hey, it's like practice for like Halloween when that actually happens. Yeah. Are you guys gonna do this again, or are you gonna come up with something new? <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> I might be Julian Casablanca's again. I'll be whatever obsession I have next. Be a mime again, but you know. <laughs> Contemplating getting bangs during quarantine. Uh, uh, God. Can say that again. <laughs> that doesn't even look like you. What? Oh my gosh! I hate. Well, it kind of suits you. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> What was that what noise? Was that, what was that, what was that, what was that? Oh my god. <laughs> 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 That's the scariest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs>
I think there's something in the coffee, but I'm seeing weird things on this computer screen. <laughs> Are you sure it's not just us? What's my Zoom password? I think I'm gonna put chai tea in this just because I can. So then we decided to share a Google Doc with each other and write a spooky story together. Sentences were written, people were pondering, and uh, don't mind Noel. She's she's on her way to work out. But yeah, there's kind of no point in you watching us write this for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna shut up now and redo the story, the the finished product. That is, yeah. Let's let's do this. On a dark and stormy July night, three girls were FaceTiming. Eyes focused on their screens, heads thinking about pumpkin bread, and ears filled with lengthy Smith songs. They were unaware of what was waiting just behind their doors. They thought it was a little roach sound, but when they approached it, a sudden growl erupted from the other side of the door. They thought it was pretty odd that there was a roach, <laughs> a roach sound in each of their rooms, so they began to get frightened. <coughs> Uh, guys, I just got a call. So did I. No caller ID. I gotcha, said Noelle, who immediately pulled up her hacker websites and found that a mysterious Nigerian prince was calling from India. It seems we're dealing with a Class A international hacker who goes by the name Spook 300, Noelle announced to the others. Or a sociopathic killer, Sophia exclaimed. I saw on the news the other day that people were getting mysterious calls that were later followed by violent break-ins. OMG guys, my power just went out, cried Elizabeth. Suddenly, <laughs> Noelle heard her easygoing father, <laughs> Gar Gar, scream from across the hall. She got severe chills. Don't just stand there, do something, Sophia ordered Noelle. When Noelle tried to run, something grabbed her foot and pulled her down, rendering her unconscious. Elizabeth went next. It was quick and terrifying. Sophia sat in her dark room, dreading every creak and buzz. But when Sophia opened the door to run, she saw a man in a dark cloak just standing there. Who are you? She asked in terror. I am Julian Casablancas, responded the cloaked figure. No. I am Julian Casablanca, Sophia responded. Flashing to Elizabeth's point of view, instead of the handsome Julian Casablanca standing before her, a very large tall man was towering over her with a sinister grin on his face. He glared at her menacingly, but then he turned into a dragonfly and offered her an official invitation to their colony. The man in Sophia's hallway let down his hood, and it was indeed Julian Fernando Casablanca's. He snapped his fingers, and Sophia was standing on stage in front of thousands of people. She performed the two-hour set like a pro. But what was happening to Noelle, though? <laughs> she actually died. Sad face. Head injury. Very tragic. Big bad. <laughs> Alright, so then Elizabeth took some photos of me through the computer screen. Needless to say, we were struggling not only to take the pictures, but also to get in character. Hmm, he doesn't smile. Can't be him, he has too much... Here are some of my favorites. This is so iconic. And Noelle also made an appearance after a 15 minute tennis playing hiatus. And yeah, I forgot to film an outro, so here's us waving goodbye. And here are some more pictures I took after the Zoom. Anyways... Thanks for watching. Spook 300 signing off. I'm taking over my body back in control. No more shoddy. I bet a lot of me was lost. Teasing, crossing eyes and dotted. I fought it a lot, and it seems a lot like flesh is all I got. Not anymore.